News Hub can reveal an ad campaign to recruit more health professionals from overseas, cost more than half a million dollars and resulted in just three people being interviewed. Doctors say it's really disappointing, while nurses labelled the campaign a failure, with both sectors saying the money should have been spent elsewhere. Investigations correspondent Michael Mora has this exclusive report. Making a difference. It was a glitzy commercial intended to entice overseas health workers to our shores, emphasising why New Zealand is unique. Like more to do on your days off. But the results have been less than impressive. Ads were put up on Facebook, LinkedIn, TikTok, Google, Indeed.com and YouTube. In total, that costs more than $514,000. That's not including video production or consultant costs. So what did we get for half a million? 668 people expressed interest. 44 were referred to the recruitment team but just three candidates have been interviewed. So this is a really disappointing result. Uh, you'd expect more, and I think questions have to be asked. It's had very little outcome, a significant amount of money. The ad campaign started in November last year. It's failed because it's failed to deliver on what I believe would probably have been the pur purpose. The purpose, get desperately needed health professionals to come here. So three interviews for $500,000 spent is not a great return on investment. Indeed, we are making multiple efforts in terms of recruitment and it might take time for those to bear fruit. Another way the government's trying to get health staff in is via fast-tracked visa categories. Official information obtained by NewsHub shows in the six months to February 10, 219 nurses applied under the green list. But just one has arrived here. 624 arrived using other visa categories, although about half of that number requires training. So they're not workforce ready. In the same time period, 11 GPs applied under the green list, but just one has arrived under this category. 91 arrived using other categories. Uh, we need more general practitioners. I think the fundamental core issue is we need to be training more homegrown New Zealand general practitioners. Hospital specialists are also needed, but on the green list in the six months to February this year, one anaesthetist, two surgeons, a dermatologist and one radiologist touched down in New Zealand. The numbers are bolstered slightly when considering other visa categories, but it's hardly the solution. Yeah, those numbers are feeble. And Sarah Dalton says foreign health workers talk to their Kiwi colleagues and know it's tough here. They're talking to their colleagues here. They're hearing that the work is onerous, it is relentless, there are significant staffing gaps. She says the key to attract more staff is make New Zealand an attractive place, not just to live, but to work. You're not a great look, Michael. What else has the Health Minister, Aisha Viral, said about these lacklustre numbers? Yeah, well, essentially the Minister is saying that it's too soon to measure the success of the international recruitment campaign. Interestingly, she says that it takes between nine months and up to two years to recruit someone. But all the experts in my story are basically singing from the song same song sheet. They're saying if you're going to advertise New Zealand as a place to work, you've got to improve pay and conditions. And unfortunately at this stage, Australia just looks better and brighter. Now GP Brian Betty in my story, for example, says that the latest intake of new doctors in the training scheme was just 170 this year. That's the lowest ever, and it should be more around 300, the, the 300 mark. So he says the way GPs are funded currently is out of date and it needs an urgent overhaul to make the profession more attractive and make staff feel more valued. Investigations correspondent Michael Morrow, thank you so much.